Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about GATE. Welcome back and we are studying DBMS. In the previous session, we have understood what a minimal cover is all about. Okay, now in this session, quickly I am going to solve the previous year GATE question which are asked about minimal cover. The very first question I am taking is GATE 2017 question. Uh, once again, as I want all of you to attempt the question first and then continue with the video. So just read the question or go to your question bank, find out the question number 16 from GATE 2017 and solve that and then come back for the solution. Okay. So here the question says the following FDs hold true for the following for the relation R with V, W, X, Y, Z as the attributes. The functional dependency set is given right here. V to W, V W to X, a, Y to B X and Y to Z. We have some 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 functional dependencies defined. The question asks which of the following is irreducible equivalent for F. You see the term irreducible equivalent for F. Irreducible means which you cannot reduce further. So what you have seen so far is minimal cover, canonical cover also can be known as irreducible cover or irreducible equivalent okay equivalent because we know that the power of f would be remain would be the same as the power of the irreducible set that you have you will find out now we are given four options forget about the four options let's go with the one by one step which is the easiest way of doing it and always ensure that you are going to get up to the right answer so let's apply Step number one, here is your solution. Okay, pardon me for the size of the book. Yeah, it's pretty small one. But step number one says that we have to singlet and the RHS. So we have one RHS, we have to make it single attribute. So it becomes V to W as it is, V W to X as it is. Now Y to V, Y to X and Y to Z. This is it, step number one. Over. Let's come to the step number two and check for the redundancy present in the LHS of any FD. Here in this LHS, it has two attributes V and W. Quickly check for the V plus and also for the W plus and find out who is strong and who is weak. So V plus gives you V. From here it gives you W. From here it gives you x right and here w plus gives you only w nothing else and here i can see that v determines the value of w so it is it is it is capable to determine w and w is redundant here so nothing but then from this set i conclude that it remains as v to w now this becomes only v to x rest all are as it is now the last and the third part to find out about the redundant FDs present in them okay nothing but then just hide each of the FDs find out its closure and check whether it is implied in the remaining ones or not so let's check for V to W V plus from the remaining part V plus from the remaining part says it's it, it is capable of deriving V and x but it does not derive w also you can check the w is present only here the none of the functional dependency determine the value of w so it is essential it is essential and has to be included okay anybody who is new to this video i would advise please go to the previous video and check what the minimal cover is what is the procedure so that you can understand solving much better Okay, let's check for the next next uh, dependency V to X. So let's just hide it and find out the V plus. After hiding this part, V plus says V W. It does not say X, and so it is also essential. So it takes V to X. Now let's hide this part Y to V and try to find out the. See, I'm hiding and try to find out the Y closure. Y closure says y x z right but it does not say v and so it also has to be included so y says v 
Now let's hide this part. Okay. I'm hiding this part and I'm finding out the Y closure. Look at here, everyone. Don't consider this dependency. Y closure says Y. It also says B. B says X. B says W. And Y also says Z. Y to X and again Y to X. Without this also, we could find out Y to X. So do we need it? No, we don't need it and so it is not included now let's check the next part which is y to z again hide it and take the uh, computation so once you are hiding i'm taking the y plus once again okay this is not to be included when you are computing again because it has to be removed right here okay the moment you find it is redundant you remove it right there and further in any conclosure or any computation you don't use that dependency Okay, so now y plus from here will give you y, will give you v, will also give you w, will also give you x, but will not give you z because it, we are not covering this. And if it is not covered, then it is essential. So let's include y to z. Okay, so this is the final step that we have come up across, and this is the final set after the a procedure has been applied v to w v to x y to v and y to z which option does it match with it exactly match with the option number a it exactly match with option number a so the answer for this question is option number a now quickly solve the next question based out of the minimal cover in the gate 2014 asked question had two statements and the question was asking which of the statements are true and false okay one of the statements was talking about the minimal cover and I have taken only that because the other statement uh, is about normal forms which we are yet to cover. Okay, So let's solve this. The question number 30 was saying that a given set is minimal cover for the set of FDs which is given here. So here in this question, this is your F and this is the minimal cover. So the question is asking, is this the minimal cover for this? Okay, the question is not asking which is the minimal cover. Any such question is there, in that case you, do, you really need not to solve and find out the exact minimal cover. Rather you need to check whether it is its minimal cover or not. Which is even pretty you know, quick to do. Just check whatever is implied here is getting implied here or not. So for that, like, let me check what is implied here by AB. Okay, suppose AB. So AB here says it determines itself, it determines C, it also determines E. Right? Right. Now quickly check that same meaning here. Here AB plus. In this minimal cover, it says AB determines AB, it determines C, and this is it. It does not determine the value of E. See, the idea of minimal cover is the logical implication should remain exactly same. There should be nothing less, nothing more, right? But it is certainly less. It is determining E here in the before set, but it is not determining E here. So this is not the minimal cover for the given functional dependency set right here. I mean, I need not to go further and check for any other functional dependency or for any other implication. Okay, so answer for this, if somebody asks me, if the question asks me, is this a statement true? I would say no, it's false, right? But, but now, because we are in order to practice the questions to find out the minimal cover, so let's quickly find out the minimal cover for this given functional dependency set. Solution, as we know, the step number one is to singleton the RHS okay we have no RHS with multiple attributes so it remains as it is right here step number two is to find out the extraneous in the LHS so let's find out the A plus it gives me just A let's find out the B plus it gives me just B that simply means none of them none of them that is neither the A nor the B are independent of each other or are strong or determining each other so both of them together has to remain to determine the value of c 
okay so we cannot eliminate see this is an example for you to see that it's not always necessary that you can break down the group of attribute from the left hand side sometimes they have to remain together because they cannot lose their meaning okay so in that case it becomes as it is a b to c d to e a b to e and e to c after step number 2 let's come to the step number 3 again step number 3 is nothing but the hide and seek okay let's hide it and try to seek it only okay so let's i'm i'm hiding this and i'm finding out the ab plus after hiding it and that is a b e from e c and so a b was determining c but without this also a b can determine c and so this is not essential and so if it is not essential this will not become the part of my set okay now let's come to d to e i'm hiding it and try to seek it so minimal cover step number 3 can easily be can be redefined as hide and seek okay so d plus is there anywhere uh, any other d no so d plus will define only d it is essential has to be included d to e again let's hide it you cannot include it now because it has been removed okay i told you before also ab plus from here will not define anything except ab so it is also essential so it becomes ab to e included now if i hide e plus there is no e and it will determine only e not c so it also has to be included so this becomes e to c okay so d to e a b to e e to c this becomes the final minimal cover for the given fd set not this i hope this is very clear now to every one of you uh, i have many practice questions for this minimal cover of course i cannot solve each of them here and but if you ask me i will come up and solve them also in case you need any more practice questions just ask me in the comment section below i'll i'll provide you or i will make another video with those practice questions i just don't want to make more and more on practice questions maybe i mean if it is needed i would definitely do that so i hope minimal cover is pretty much clear now and you are very much set to go ahead with another concept which is right there nothing but the normalization so we are done all the background work so far and in the next video we will start with the normalization i will see you very soon in the next video do share the video with your friends and keep watching and stay tuned bye bye